Hello students. Uh, today we'll discuss IB Physics SL Paper 1 May 2019 Time Zone 1. You cannot use calculator so this is no calculator paper. My name is Nariman Melim. I'm located in Baku and here you can see my mobile and email. To prepare for this exam you can uh, you should use a big textbook of Oxford 2014 short textbook by Tim Kirk Oxford 2014 and you should have physics data booklet with formulas this booklet is avail will be available for you at the exam at the upper panel will have question lower panel solutions so let's start this is cover page. First question. A student wants to determine the angular speed omega of a rotating object. The period T is 0 0.50 seconds plus minus 5%. The angular speed omega is given by this formula. What is the percentage uncertainty of omega? Here we have 2 times pi, which is constant, divided by period. So we use formula for division or multiplication. So we to find uh, percentage uncertainty of omega we should it will be equal to percentage uncertainty of t. So here section 1 2 part of the formula so it is 5% the same as for period. Next question. Question 2. A student models the relationship between the pressure of a gas and its temperature as P equals X plus YT. The units of P are Pascal and the units of T are Kelvin. What are the fundamental SI units of X and Y? So question 2. Uh, we understand that X should have the same units as pressure and uh, Y should have the same units as YT should have the same units as P or Y should have the same units as P over T. Let's work with X should have the same units as pressure. So pressure equals force over area, force equals MA and M is kilogram, A is meter per second squared divided by meter squared give us this formula. When we talk about Y, it is should have the same units as pressure over temperature, so we divide by Kelvin, we get Kelvin minus 1, so it is choice A. Question 3. A skydiver is falling at terminal speed when she opens her parachute. What are the direction of her velocity vector and the direction of her acceleration vector before she reaches the new terminal speed? So, she opens parachute as a result, surface area increase, drag force becomes much greater than weight. So, resultant force will be upward, acceleration will be the same way, upward. But during the fall, the velocity always downwards. So, we choose choice C. Velocity downwards, but acceleration at this moment upwards. Question 4. A stone is thrown downwards from the edge of a cliff with a speed of 5 meters per second. It hits the ground 2 seconds later. What is the height of the cliff? So this is a picture. Initial velocity, displacement and acceleration are one way, so we choose this direction positive. So, uh, all information is given except V, so we choose from section 1, 2 of the booklet, from uh, booklet, physics data booklet with formulas, we choose section 1, 2, no V, it is S equals UT plus half AT squared, we substitute numbers and we get 30 meters, so it is B. Question 5. A ball is thrown upwards at an angle to the horizontal. Air resistance is negligible. Which statement about the motion of the ball is correct? 
So because we throw a ball at an angle, uh, we have velocity has horizontal component which will be constant during the flight because the resistance is negligible and vertical component will be which will be changing reaching zero at the top and then increasing downwards uh, let's check answers a acceleration of the ball changes during its flight no acceleration is constant downwards 10 meters per second so b the velocity of the ball changes during its flight. Yes, horizontal component of velocity doesn't change, but vertical component changes all the time. Hence, velocity changes. So this is correct answer. C. Acceleration of the ball is zero at the highest. No, we know that it is 10 meters per second squared downwards. Velocity of the ball is zero at the highest point. No, because uh, at the highest point it has horizontal component. So it's not zero. Six. Question six. Uh, an object of mass m is sliding down a ramp at constant speed. During the motion, it travels a distance x along the ramp and falls through a vertical distance h. The coefficient of dynamic friction between the ramp and the object is mu. What is the total energy transferred in the thermal energy when object travels down? the distance x so we have uh, initial position final position uh, what is the difference kinetic energy didn't change because uh, speed is constant potential energy decreased but according to conservation of energy this decrease in potential energy should in, uh, bring us increase same amount thermal energy so this is why we have the following formulas so change of potential energy equals change in thermal energy and equals mgh so we choose choice a question seven two blocks of masses m and 2m are traveling directly towards each other both are moving at the same constant speed v the blocks collide and stick together. What is the total momentum of the system before and after collision? Momentum is always conserved. Let's choose positive direction to the right. Then momentum before equals 2m times plus v plus m times minus v. 2m minus mv give us mf. Uh, the same will be after collision. 2 mv before and mv answer. Choice A. The graph shows the variation with time of resultant net force acting on an object. The object has a mass of 1 kg and is initially at rest. What is the velocity of the object at time of 200 milliseconds? So, uh, let's find it. So, change in momentum equals impulse and equals area under the graph. Under the graph, we see right angle triangle. So, area will be half height and base. Height is 80, base is 200 milliseconds. Uh, if we divide by 1000, we get 0 0.200 seconds. And as a result, the change in momentum is 2 kg meter per second minus 1. So section 2, 4, momentum equals mass time velocity. We start from rest, then initial momentum is 0. So final momentum is equal to the change of momentum that we found before. So 1 kg times final velocity equals 8 kg meter per second. Final velocity equals divided by 1 kilogram, 8 meters per second, so it is choice A. Question 9. A block uh, is on the surface of horizontal rotating disk. The block is at rest relative to the disk. The disk is rotating at constant angular velocity. What is correct arrow to represent the direction of the frictional force acting on the block as the instant shown? So object move in a circle, it means that the resultant force is towards the center along C. But there is only one force, friction, so it means that friction is along C. 
question 10. Energy is transferred to water in a flask at a rate P. The water reaches boiling point and then P is increased. What are the changes in temperature of the water and the rate of vaporization of water after the change? So what we know? We know that temperature of boiling is fixed and is constant. So Q equals Lm. Mass melted equals Q over L. If we divide by uh, delta T, we'll get delta M over delta T. Here R is, it is on not necessary here, actual mistake. So delta M over delta T equal Q over delta T over L. Q, delta Q over delta T is power. So we see that uh, rate of vaporization increase with power. So we choose D, unchanged temperature and increase rate of vaporization. Question 11. An insulated tube is filled with a large num n number of lead spheres, each of the mass of mass m. The tube is inverted s times so that the spheres completely fall through an average distance L each time. The temperature of the spheres is measured before and after inversion and the resultant change of in temperature is delta T. What is specific heat capacity of lead? So every time we raise spheres, we give them potential energy and then when they fall, this potential energy turns into heat. It means that due, uh, before, before, uh, due, uh, due to this uh, turning, uh, the temperature was increased and it was increased because heat was released. It is C times total mass by delta T. On the other hand, this heat was, uh, uh, this heat was produced uh, due to potential energy decrease. S times we turn, mass is Nm, so MgH. S times mass Nm, G, L is uh, average height. So this uh, heat, so this heat uh, produced changes in temperature, so these Qs are equal, so we uh, make this uh, right parts equal rewrite for C and we get CGL over delta T. It is choice B. Question 12. Boiling water is heated in a 2 kilowatt electric kettle. The initial mass of water is 0.4 kilogram. Assume the specific latent heat of vaporization of water is 2 megajoule kilogram. What is the time taken for all the water to vaporize? So, uh, energy produced by heater is power by time. And this energy, Q, goes to melting. So, L times M. So, Lm equals P delta T. So, delta T equals Lm over P. And we get 400 seconds. Choice B. A gas storage tank of fixed volume V contains n molecules of an ideal gas at temperature T. The pressure at Kelvin temperature T is 20 MPa. N over 4 molecules are removed and the temperature changes to 2T. What is the new pressure? So we first of all we use ideal gas equation PV equals nRT. N is number of moles, it is number of molecules divided by Avogadro number. Then we rewrite formula for P and arrange, rearrange formula. In the bracket we have constant. So R is constant and Avogadro is constant and volume is constant. What is changing? Only number of molecules and temperature. 
So let us find ratio of case 2 to case 1. Pressure 2 divided by pressure 1 will be N2T2 divided by N1T1 because constant part will cancel. Uh, in the second case, we have three fourths of molecules because uh, one fourth were removed. Divide by one, we get three fourths. Temperature in the second case is two times greater than in the first case, we get two. As a result, we get three twos of initial pressure, 20, which give us 30 megapascal. Question 14. Question 14. A particle performs simple harmonic motion. What is the phase difference between the displacement and the acceleration of the particle? So method 1. We draw mass on spring, uh, uh, extreme position and equilibrium position. What we notice, we notice then when uh, displacement is maximum positive, acceleration is maximum negative. When displacement is maximum negative, acceleration is maximum positive. So they are in antiphase, so phase difference is pi. Another method is if you know formula for x equals x0 sine omega t, uh, a will be um, first differential, differential, it will be minus x, second differential, minus x sine omega t, which turns into sine omega t plus p, again phase, phase difference p. Pi actually. Right. Uh, which graph shows, uh, question 15, uh, which graph shows the variation with time of the kinetic energy of an object undergoing simple harmonic motion of period t? So kinetic energy is always positive, it is half mv squared. This is why we, out of these four we choose either c or d. To make final choice, I have drawn picture. And what we see, we see that at extreme position, kinetic energy is zero. So it starts from zero, then maximum, then again slows down and zero, then again maximum and then slows down. So during period, kinetic energy has two maximums. So two maximum is D. Question 16. What are the changes in speed, frequency, and wavelength of light as it travels from a material of low refractive index to material of high refractive index? High refractive index, n equals c over v, equals v is smaller. A wave equation is v of lambda. Frequency stays the same, but lambda is smaller, equals v over f is smaller, with smaller v. So we choose d, speed decrease, frequency unchanged, wavelength decrease. Question 17. Which of these ways cannot be polarized? So we see three electromagnetic waves, A, C, and D, which can be polarized because it is transverse wave, and only ultrasound is longitudinal wave. It cannot be polarized. Question 18. A string fixed at both ends vibrates in the first harmonic with frequency 400 Hz. The speed of sound in the string is 480 m per second. What is the length of the spring? Spring fixed at two ends. It means the distance between. So this is one note. This is another note. This is the first harmonic shape. Uh, distance is lambda over 2, at the same time it is length of the string. So from wave equation lambda equals v over f, 1.2 meters, so length is 2 times less, is 0.60, so choice b. In science, models are ext extensively used to study the real-life situation. A person X on the beach wants to reach a person Y in the sea in the shortest possible time. The speed of person X on the land is different from the speed of person X in the water. Which physical phenomena will best model the path with the least time? 
so I have drawn picture here so this is uh, let's say y and this is x it looks like refraction so let's see we do we have yes we have refraction next question Uh, two charges plus Q and minus Q are placed as shown. What is the magnitude of electric field strength in descending order at X, Y, and Z? So this is a picture. I copied this picture here. So at point X we have repulsion from plus Q and attraction from minus Q. So we should subtract these forces. At Y is the same story, but forces will be greater. At Z, forces are in one direction. Let's choose positive direction to the right. To the right? To the left. To the left. To the left. To the left. Right. The uh, section 5.1, force equals this expression, divided by charge will get field strength. So for point charge, this is expression for uh, force acting on a unit charge. Now at X, the forces are, distance is 2R from plus Q. And from minus Q, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 section, 6R. They are in, in opposite direction, so we subtract and we get something, uh, some expression. At Y, uh, distance from plus Q will be R, from minus Q will be 5R, so we have these expressions. And at Z, for plus Q will be R, and for minus Q will be 3R. And the forces should be added. Right, so... Ah, here minus and here minus, okay. Okay, minus minus. We need magnitude, so magnitude will be greater at Z than Y and then X. So choice C. Question 21. Two cells, each of 9 AMF 9 volt and internal resistance 3 ohm are connected in series. 12 ohm resistor is connected in series in the cell. What is the current in the resistor? So this is the circuit. So what we know, total AMF equals total potential difference. On the other side, total potential equals, uh, difference equals current by total resistance. So current equals total AMF by total resistance. Total AMF will be 8, 9 volt, 9 volt, 18 volt, total resistance 3, 3, 12, 18 volt, 18 ohm, and we divide the, uh, we substitute, use this formula, we get 1 ampere, C. Question 22. Charge flows through a liquid. The charge flows is made up of positive and negative ions. In one second, 0 0.10 coulomb of negative ions flow in one direction, and 0 0.10 coulomb of positive ions flow in the opposite direction. What is the magnitude of electric current flowing through the liquid? So negative charge in opposite direction is the same as positive charge in the forward direction. So total positive charge will be 0 0.10 plus 0 0.10, 0 0.20. In one second, so we divide charge by time. By one second, we get 0 0.20 amperes. Question 23.
A beam of negative ions flow in the plane of the page through the magnetic field due to the to two bar magnets. What is the direction in which the negative ions will be deflected? So I copied this picture into here. So first I should remind you Fleming's left hand row. So point first finger along field, uh, second finger along conventional current, then thrust will be as shown by a thumb. All three fingers should be at 90 degrees or less folded. So let's see what we have here. So a beam of negative ions to the right, so conventional current to the left. Magnetic field is from north to south, so it is down. So now we take left hand, hold all fingers, open first finger, point it down. Then open second finger and turn the hand until it second finger points to the left. Open thumb and thumb shows out of page. So we choose choice out of page, which is A. 24. Very confusing question. Uh, I think it is too, com too complicated. A motorist is cornering on a curved race track. Which combination of changes of banking angle and coefficient of friction mill between the tires and road allows the motorcycle to travel around the corner at the greatest speed? So I give uh, several solutions. I think the easiest solution is conceptual. So first of all, section 6.1 tells us that centripetal force and velocity are directly proportional. It means that to have greater velocity, we need greater centripetal force. Centripetal force is uh, sum of banking force and friction force. Method one, more angle, more banking friction. More mu, more friction. Method two, uh, you consider two for contact forces, normal contact force and contact force along the surface which is friction so normal contact force its vertical component is balanced by mg so mg equals n cosine theta so n equals mg over cosine theta as a result friction will be mu mg cos over cosine theta and we multiply by cosine theta to get actually the mu mg acting to the center of the circle so increasing angle will increase um, n sine theta so here centripetal force will be increased as mg time tangent theta and also uh, mu mg even without angle here mu mg more strict, more, uh, more accurate consideration is shown here on the picture. So what we see? We see that along x axis, uh, sum of all components will give us mv squared over r along y axis sum of all components will give us zero and maximum will be given by this very complicated formula. So finished. I think this, you should choose the easiest way. More banking, more friction. Question 25. Satellite X orbits a planet with orbital radius R. Satellite Y orbits the same planet with orbital radius 2R. Satellites X and Y have the same mass. What is the ratio? Of accelerations. So uh, gravitational force is given by this formula. Uh, force, act, uh, force acceleration will be given by this formula, force over mass. So this is the formula for acceleration. For Y satellites, if we express distance in terms of R, we get this expression and one force goes as a factor and gmr squared is expression for satellite x as a result ax will be 
for uh, a y so ratio of f x by f y will be 4 so it is choice d 26 which property of nuclide doesn't change as a result of beta decay so during beta decay proton turns into neutron or vice versa depending it is beta plus or beta minus decay so nuclear number doesn't change a doesn't change the rest mass of helium isotope is m which expression gives the binding energy per nucleon? So definition, binding energy is energy of splitting nucleus into separate nucleons per nucleon. Energy per nucleon. Before splitting, the energy of the nucleus is mc squared. After splitting, the energy of individual nucleons will be given by this formula. The difference of energy divided by number of nucleons will give us binding energy. So it is choice B. 28. Which of the following atomic energy levels transition corresponds to photons of shortest wavelengths? Wave equation for light equals C equals F lambda. So lambda equals C over F. The shortest wavelength is for greatest frequency. On the other hand, energy of photon equals HF and F equals E over H. So greatest energy is for greatest frequency is for greatest energy. It means that C is greatest energy, greatest frequency, and shortest wavelengths. 29. A beaker containing 1 kilogram of water at room temperature is heated on a 400 watt hot plate. The specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joule per kilogram per kelvin. The temperature of the water increases until it reaches its constant value. It is then removed from the hot plate. What will be the initial rate of change of temperature? So, uh, heat provided and temperature change are linked by this formula. Let's divide it by time interval. Then we see that uh, an energy per time is power. So, power equals Cm over gradient. A gradient will be P over Cm and we get 0 0.1 Kelvin per second. Question 30. Most power stations rely on a turbine and a generator to produce electrical energy. Which power station works on a different principle? Uh, solar. In solar, light energy is straight into electrical. Paper is over. Thank you for your attention.